What would be a funny thing to say to a surgeon before anesthesia kicks in 5 seconds later? I had broken my wrist and was being put under to a 4 pins inserted. They gave me my anesthesia through and four. I felt coldness spreading up my arm and across my chest. The nurse asked how I was doing, and I said this must be what dying feels like. I heard her say oh, my, god then I was out. Wow. I actually have a relevant story that happened recently. As I was getting ready to go under they were placing a device in my mouth to keep me from biting down on the scope they were going to use for the endoscopy. Think medical ball gag, but a hard plastic ring instead of a ball. As the gal was placing it in I asked, wait, what's the safe word? I heard a good amount of laughing as the world turned to black. A word. Related comment, but doesn't really answer the question. My dad was in the middle of a surgery repairing some pretty nasty damage on his wrist after a skiing accident. He was under heavy anesthesia, but the surgeons were having serious trouble with the screws in his wrist, which apparently jarred him around enough to wake up. He noticed their struggles and managed to say righty tighty, lefty loosey. Then he passed back out. Ha! I'm told that when I was out having one of my fingers patched up and another reattached after a table saw accident, I asked the surgeon if the drill he was using to put screws in my hand was a DeWalt or a Ryobi. Once a tool man, always a tool man. How do you keep a surgeon in suspense? I had just woken up after having my shoulder worked on. I was in and out of consciousness for a bit and just generally fucking whacked out. I guess I shifted in the bed and moved the blankets a bit and exposed myself as the nurse came in. She smiled and moved the blankets back. I apparently told the nurse you saw mine, do I get to see yours? My wife was in the chair next to the bed. Before going under for wisdom teeth the doctor said I might feel funny. They pushed the drugs and asked if I felt any different. My asshole, and only my asshole began to itch like crazy, and it was hot, not warm, hot like I just ate peppers with my ass. I told them my asshole is itching like crazy. The assistant was really bad at holding back a laugh, the doc resisted mightily, but he too succumbed to my newly discovered butthole emotions. As the anesthesiologist was putting me under, he just said I'd start to feel sleepy soon. I asked him aren't I supposed to be counting back from 100 or something? He replied I don't know, I must have skipped that class. Being an anesthesiologist must be awesome as you can always get the last word in. I had an anesthesiologist that looked like Dan from Roseanne. He was awesome though. I had to have two eye surgeries and he was the anesthesiologist for the second one. He came in to explain the process and asked me Sue, I see you had surgery a week ago. So you know how this is done, right? I nodded and said yes, sir. His face suddenly got really serious looking and he said excellent. Most people freak out when they see the hammer. Yes, John Goodman. No, I haven't seen anything else he has acted in. Yes, thanks to this post I now have a list of movies to watch. I was being put under for a wisdom tooth extraction a few years back, and it was the first time I've ever had anesthesia. They used injection method rather than gas, so they told me to watch the fluids going in so I could gauge when I'd feel sleepy. I had this idea that I would say something like oh no, doc, I've lost my eyesight or something else preposterous. Before I could collect my thoughts I just immediately blurted well shit, my voice progressively getting lower and passed out. Just before I blacked out the anesthetist said to me this is the stuff that killed Michael Jackson. Waking from anesthesia one time I heard someone say his blood pressure is a little high then I mumbled that'd be the anesthetist's assistant's fault, they then kinda startled asked quickly why is that becoming slightly more coherent I continued with she's really hot, they all laughed and said he'll be fine and released from theater. So after my dad had a triple bypass and was just waking up and they had removed the breathing tube I was in the room with him. I said something along the lines of everything went perfect with your surgery dad, no problems. My dad in his drug haze said that is because I am a perfect specimen of the human male and it couldn't have gone any other way. Nurses were cracking up.